Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. So I've been asked by a, a subscriber to my channel and a, a new trapper to go over some things about muskrats. So uh, that's what we're here today. We're on a farm pond that I have permission to be on. And uh, we're going to see if there's any rats in this thing. So stay with me. We'll be back here in just a minute. All right, guys, I don't know how, hey, guys, I don't know how well this is going to show up. But you see that divot down there in the bottom of that pond right there? Now, there's there's an old one over there, and there's another old one out there. That right there, when you see that, and then you see that a lot of times there will be a trail going out from them, too. That's a rat den. That's a muskrat den right there. Now, there are several different ways we can set this up, and I'll show you a couple of them the way I like to do it. All right, guys, so what I've done, I took this ordinary lath that you can buy at any hardware store, and I put a 110 conibear on it and stuck it in front of that den entrance. Now, that's, that's just one way that you can do it. Um, pretty fast, pretty simple, pretty effective, and when you'll know those dens are active, when you step inside the mouth of it or inside the channel coming out of it, and it's rock hard. If it's rock hard, there's rats going in and out of there. So that's how you tell if they're active or not. All right, guys, here's, a, here's another tool that I like to use. This is a colony trap. If they're legal to use in your state, I highly recommend that you pick yourself up some or build some. This one here is one that I've built. And how they work, they've just got a they've just got a swinging door on each end of them. Rat, you put it in front of that den entrance, just like I did that 110 conibear. And the rats swim in, the door drops behind him, he can't come back out. The only thing you have to do with these is make sure they are completely submerged underwater. That way your rats drown. Uh, you can catch, you know, I've caught as high as seven rats in one of these at a time. Now, granted, they weren't very big rats at the time, but they were rats nonetheless. But they are very effective. They work very well. Rat swims in. He hits that door, sw opens up. He swims in. The door drops behind him. He's a caught muskrat. Very simple, very effective tool. All right, guys. Another set that I like to use is just my fish steak. Uh, for rats. The only difference is instead of having rebar up here, I've got a spike. Now you got to be really careful with these because they are pretty dangerous. Stumbling around, falling down, this, that, and the other in the high grass and in the muck and mud, you want to be really careful using these. Uh, the reason I put the spike on there is so that I can spear an apple or some carrots, an ear of corn, parsnips. My favorite bait to use for rats is turnip because they stay white a long time and there's there's no real danger of me catching non-targets like ducks and geese. And I set them up exactly the same way that I would if I were putting them in for raccoon. Um, if you wanna check out that video, go to see how to set them. Uh, go back into my uh, Deadliest Raccoon Set video and you can see exactly how to set this. The only difference is instead of putting a chunk of fish out here, you're just putting a chunk of, you know, like I said, corn, apple, potato will work. They turn brown pretty fast. And like I said, my favorite is turnip. That's, that's my favorite to use. Then also, if you want to, you can drill a hole in a, in a one by six, drill a hole in the middle of a one by six and to fit this spike and slide it down on here. And now you have what we call a platform. And what you do with that is you you uh, submerge it under the water to where it's just enough to cover a set one and a half or a number one long spring, number two long or number two double coil, something of that sort on each end of your plank. Now I know a lot of guys have trouble using these because rats shy away from them, and they do until they get used to them. Rats will shy away from that. But I'm going to give you a couple little tips on how to make it work and work well fast. Throw a pile of mud and leaves up on the top of it, just right in the middle of it. Just throw a pile of mud and leaves up here on top of that board. That works really well. Now it works 
excellent, and I mean excellent, if you can find some fresh rat droppings. If you can find fresh rat droppings and put up on that board, that's the ticket, especially in the fall of the year. Spring of the year, if you have a spring rat season, those things are absolutely deadly. You can catch rats on them right off the bat. Rats, the males crawl up on there to uh, deposit their scent. You don't even have to bait the dang things. Just put them out there. Rats will come in the spring. In the fall, they shy away from them. They don't know what it is. They're leery of it. Put a pile of fresh mud and leaves up there on top of it, just like you would if you were making a caster mound for a beaver set. That'll take that shyness away from it. And then, like I said, too, if you can find some fresh rat droppings to put on it, so much the better. All right, guys, that kind of concludes this little rat video. I, like, I know it wasn't much, but I do think there was some pretty valuable information in there for you uh, if you choose to use it. Once again, I would like to invite you to uh, subscribe to my channel if you would, please. Hit that thumbs up for me. Uh, that lets YouTube know that you enjoy this kind of content. Once again, guys, this is Dale Billingsley with another one, signing out.